Welcome back, folks, to more Ultima 7, Part 2, Serpent Isle. Still here in the city of Fawn, and we have quite a lot of exploring to do, so let's get busy. Many events will take place here. I'm going to talk to everyone. Except the guards. Because they are boring. We're also going to rob everyone blind. Because that's what any good avatar would do. Again, we're not stealing, we're borrowing. It's a pleasure to see thee again, Ronstock. It's the Provisioner. We've already spoke with her. It's... All right, we can get some bolts, maybe. I do not recall seeing thy face among Fawn Tower Garrison. Have I met thee? I regret I cannot remember. I am Dellen, Fawn's Provisioner. Forgive me if thou dost already know me. How may I serve thee, noble pikeman? I provide Fawn with adventuring supplies, though I regret that my stock is not great at the moment. These storms have made the supply wagons from the other cities rare indeed. What dost thou wish to purchase? Ah, uh, we need to convert some money. God, this is a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who can convert money here? Hold on, I gotta bust out my map. I gotta bust out my fawn map. White Dragon Castle, Spinebreaker, Moonshade. The Furnace Mountains. Fawn, here we go, Fawn. That doesn't help at all. This map sucks. All right, so let's explore anyways. Let's see how well this guard dog works. Lord British's tyrannical adventure. Lord British was a monarch who was haughty and vain, and especially proud of his despotic reign. But conceit of this sort is improper at all, and soon the old tyrant was doomed for a fall. One day as he viewed his subjects from on high, a voluptuous young wench caught his tired old eye. Bending over to see, that oversight goat let his crown slip and fall into the moat. With a cry of sheer terror, he jumped like a fool. He rushed to the ditch to retreat like cesspool. He leaped in splash and sank like a stone. Everyone hoped for a new heir to the throne. But alas, he came up and staggered from the sewer. His robe smelled like a fowl, his breath like manure. Why did I do that? What possessed me today? I'm as daft as old Yolo, and now I smell like Dupre. And if anyone sees me, oh, what a disgrace. I had better leave if I want to save face. But a crowd had assembled and stared amazed. The sight confused them. The stench left them dazed. Then with a shriek, a young boy, he began to laugh, giggling and pointing at the king's fecal bath. Becoming enraged, the monarch suddenly turned wild. He looked like he wanted to strangle the child. His hand to the fist, he struck lightning fast, but the old poop missed and fell on his ass. Not holding back, the crowd soon roared. The laughter was deafening. It grew to its sword. But the king found no humor and called for his men. The arrival of the guard quickly silenced the din. For all of those who found humor in my sorrow and misfortune will soon find the rack and pain and contortion. Then I will cackle as you stew and boil in a pot full of lard and bubbling oil. 
And for those who survive this, they'd liefer be dead. I'd pluck out their eyes and chop off their head. Finally in the wind their bodies will swing. The new fools shall be sorry for laughing at this king. Then all were led away at the point of the sword, while old Lord Brit took a dip in a ford. Then he laughed at the cries and screamed through the night. He chuckled at their anguish, he cackled at their plight. In Britannia today no one openly tells this tale. Last they find themselves thrown in the tyrant's darkest jail. But here in our new homeland this song can be sung, the tale of how British acquired his faint smell of dung. Dog's trying to wrap me out. I'll kill it. You just got robbed. Bitch. <clears throat> we don't have that key. We shall have to search around and find it, you see. Jesus Christ, will you shut up, Dupree? Right, I've just found some more Falari. Some dead fish. And some cheese. Thank you, please. On your knees. Alright, why is their combat music still? I killed that chest long ago. Oh, shut the fuck up, you driven in hoe. The healer's hall. Alright, she's... Guess she doesn't want to say anything about the letter I gave to Ruggs. <clears throat> Let's check the tavern. Maybe the tavern. There it is. Broken ore. Welcome to the Broken Ore! Fancy some bread? Or maybe a whore? One of Monitor's famed pikemen. I am Callista, priestess of beauty. What a pleasure to meet one who is brave as well as handsome. So, she has the white breastplate. She, Or actually, this is her white breastplate that we got. However, the white breastplate is as strong as plate mail, so you might not want to mention it to her. So you can hang on to it. Um, instead, we can just raid her house later and take our magic armor, which is what she has. Tell me of the revelations. Revelations of truths have been filtered through a mouth of stone. It is a pity that thou wilt not hear a revelation. I have decided so close the rituals to all outsiders. We cannot be too careful after what happened with the false prophets. Tell me of the goblins. The very antithesis of beauty. Goblins are base savages with no appreciation of beauty and no grasp of beauty's truth. Beauty's truth. All things good possess an innate beauty that attracts all living things. To goblins who are vile, ugly monsters, beauty is a lie. To Pomdurgan, beauty is something to be exterminated, not cherished. Pomdurgan is the epitome of all repulsive things. He hath risen to unite the goblins against all things good and beautiful. The heavens have tried, are tired of our wandering from beauty's truth. They have sent Pomdurgan to destroy those that fall short of the mark. The oracle was commissioned by Lady Fawn many years ago as an instrument to speak the heaven's truths. The mages of old Sorceria labored for nearly a year before the task was done. They revealed the wonder was the oracle. 
As priestess of beauty, I have the power to call forth a revelation from the oracle. In times past, before the storms began, people came all around to hear the oracle's divine words. And the storms? Another sign that the heavens are displeased with our association with the false prophets. We allowed corruption to enter our city, to visit the very heart of beauty. Some even encourage its growth. Now we must pay for our transgressions. Once we have been brought low enough to see only beauty, the storms will stop and Fawn will once again prosper. But while our traces are all true, beliefs linger, the punishment will remain. Tell me of the false prophets. Those who call themselves Britannians, the sailors that dwell outside the city's gates to the northeast, are false prophets. We thought them poor, confused seamen worthy of our embrace, but we were fooled. All they brought were lies. The one they called Leon denounced beauty as a mere shadow of the fellowship's truth. And then, then, did the storms come, to smite those who would utter such blasphemy. The storms will not end until the blight of the blasphemer's existence hath been wiped from beauty's face. I would say that she feels rather strongly about this avatar, but what she is proposing to stop the storm seems a bit extreme. Tell me of Leon. Leon seems to divert the unsuspecting people from beauty's path. He is the one that hath brought the anger of the heavens down upon us. Lady Yolinda should have ordered him executed for the woes that he hath brought upon our city. And the fellowship? Lies! Lies! Simplistic half-truths meant to snare the unwitting and twist beauty truth. How can any person tell heaven's will without benefit to divine guidance? The deluded fools have not heard the voice of the oracle or felt the heaven's anger. Lady Yolinda. Lady Yolinda's honor to her is the fool of fawn. I recommend that she have the fawn blasphemers killed. Let their blood wash away the evil they have wrought. But Lady Yolinda is soft-hearted woman who does not know the harshness of the heaven's anger. I feel that the great captains urged her to leniency in favor of their common ties with the sea. All right, bitch, you talk too much. Get it back from my magic scrolls. Oh no, won't fit, won't fit too much. Too much loot. Welcome to Fawn. I'm Great Captain Joth. Thou can call me Joth. It's always a pleasure to meet a pikeman. It was a storm that ran me ship aground and took me from the sea. It is fitting that the diamond storms would be the end of us all. They have taken all me old friends, plucked them right out from the water, or drowned them deep. Never thought I'd live to see the day when Fawn's fleet was brought low. Your friends? Good seamen, all fishermen, and captains alike. These cursed storms have taken every good man from Fawn's shores and left me alone with the land crawlers. It is enough to make a man think about walking into the sea at high tide. Fawn used to be able to bring in enough fish to understand the other cities besides. Now there's nothing but a few old rowboats left. And what's worse, Lady Yolinda tells me that I'm to be in charge of restorations? Restoration, she calls it like there was something to restore, but draw on the reports and plans I have as ordered. But tell me if thou canst how can fawn to build ships when most of the shipwrights are drowned. Or tell me how you're to acquire the wood to build of these storms, have us running like rabbits to a hole. And Volden sits holding the money, telling me it's unsafe to begin building, as if I had ballast for brains. But he doth have to report to Lady, L Lady Yolinda like I do. It was a handful of years ago, and my body remembers it like it were yesterday. I was fouled in a massive rigging when my ship was thrown into shoals. Set the healer patched me up right enough, but it were the end of my sea-going days. Never dreamed a crusty old salt like myself would end my days on the great captain's council. Bah! Ah, this great captain's what advised Lady Yolinda to work and trade in the fleet. Things that some feel that women have no interest in. The great captains being myself, Goth, and Vulden. You're boring to talk to.
private. There'll be a key here. Anyone hungry? Well, I see a button. That didn't open shit. I don't think we can pick that.
Aha! Found you, you little son of a bitch. They don't have that key. I think that was just my sword tip. Yeah, I was trying to pick up my sword tip. That's embarrassing. Alright, so that's just money. Interesting cactus. All right, we have more stupid guards getting all nice and stuck. <laughs> wow. I'm pretty sure that's an exalt bug. I don't remember him getting that stupid in the uh, original. Not under a damn roof. I'm under a bridge. Thank you. There's my magic armor. Shamino is in need of it. Looks like we also have some potions. We'll borrow those. Time to start making clumps. Necklace, fishnet, stockings, and more loot. More Ferrari. That's a that's kind of a pimp necklace. I think I'll steal it. Let he, let Yolo wear it. It's purple and purple is cool. All right, Kink the, got the magic armor. Also. Dupree is using her uh, white breastplate, which is as good as plate mail, so we're going to hang on to that instead of giving it back. If I'm ever in town and uh, happen to be back here, 
That bitch might not be around for too much longer anyways. Well, howdy, howdy, ho. Let's talk to this individual. Oh, Jesus. It's just a lieutenant. No, no one of importance. Six o'clock. I don't know why I keep double clicking doors. I can just walk right through them. She's downstairs, so I can't talk to her. That's why, because it's a pain in the ass. It's a room filled with severed heads. Lots of training here. I think it's time to go back to uh, monitor and do some training. So I'm going to do that here. Oh hell, let's explore a little bit more. We got a few minutes, and I'll get them trained up and monitor off camera. Oh yeah, now we got some Ferrari because I need some... No one's here. Son of a bitch. I haven't saved in forever, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not kicking myself in the ass here. I don't need a stinking key. Alright, some reagents. Like some sulfur ash, some mandrake. Gen sick. Some gen sick. Garlic. Hey, free reagents are the best kind. wraps it up for this video folks we'll see you next time we'll explore some more of fawn till then I'm going to go level and wait let's steal more shit oh hey hey oh I don't know if Iolo can wear all this stuff it might be too heavy for um The pre, on the other hand, is pretty tough. He's got magic gauntlets. Got magic helms.
I'm going to steal this last bit of money. I'm going to buy some bolts as well. So, We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Serpentile.